The second, the second thing that we must do if we want obedience to birth purpose is allow what is growing in the midst of us time to grow. We have to allow what is growing in the midst of us time to grow. Wow. Joseph accepted the responsibility to obey God's word and take Mary as his wife. Wow. He had to watch Mary's stomach expand as the baby grew inside her womb. Joseph had to tend to Mary just as if he would if she was carrying his own seed. I can imagine Joseph had, Joseph had to face some ridicule from the men in his neighborhood for taking care of Mary. I speculate Joseph had moments where he wanted to walk away and give up. However, I believe when Joseph decided to be obedient to God's direction, he may have felt overwhelmed. But believe the birth of God's son is more important than his own discomfort. Wow. And we can follow Joseph's example now that we decided that the direction is given to us, we are now willing to allow the dream to grow to full term and be birthed. Mm -hmm. The dream God gave us has to have time to develop. You were given directions to follow. You were given steps to follow. You were given tasks to complete. You have to be diligent and patient as you complete each step and check off each task. Of course you will grow through some growing pains. Of course you will go have some frustrations and some setbacks. You will go through morning sickness and night pains. You will even experience criticism and negative comments. You will become overwhelmed and disappointed. But here's the good part. You will experience joy and happiness. You will experience gratitude and appreciation. You will receive all the things you need to be successful. You will be provided for. You will be able to sleep peacefully. You will be able to hold your head up. You will be able to walk with confidence. And you will be able to talk about your situation with pride. You will see all your sacrifices and all your hard work pay off. You will not quit. You will not give up. You will have the strength to endure. You're over, you will overcome all challenges. You will silence all naysayers. And you will meet all your goals and exceed your own expectations. Why? Why is all of this happening for you? Because you have watched your dream grow. You have obeyed all the directions. You have allowed your dream to grow inside of you. All the sacrifices, all the headaches, all the heartaches, all the pain, all of the hard work, all of the long sleepless nights, all of the writing, all of the rewriting, all the giving, all of the praying, all of the praising, all of the worshiping has prepared you to be in position for your dream to deliver its purpose. Mm -hmm. Well, Amen. yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. The final thing we must do if we want our obedience to birth purpose is to do the work. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, Joseph received the message mm -hmm. that the baby being birthed was to be named Jesus. Wow. Joseph, Joseph's final act of obedience during the birth was to name the baby. He could have spent the nine months with Mary caring for her and the baby and decided to name the baby Joseph Jr. <laughs> yeah. All right. But he had he had to choose to name, had he chose to name the baby anything other than Jesus, Joseph would have been disobeying, disobeying the directions he was given. Yeah. Why in the world would he watch the baby grow to full term and decide, then decide, I'm not going to do my own thing? It would just be foolish and irresponsible. And some of us, however, have done just that. Some of us have been working our dream and we've gotten so close to completion and right before we are about to accomplish all we needed to do, we decided to change the name. Yeah. We decided to change the product. We decided to change our focus. We decided to change our mindset, and we decided to change. Oh, we decided to change our perspective. We may have even decided that the obstacles are too hard to overcome. We have a, may have allowed naysayers to discourage us. We may have allowed our past hurt to interfere with our progress, or we allowed the slow progress to hinder us from our future. Well, yeah. It is time for us to make up our mind that 
we are not going to obey some of the directions. It is time for us to determine that we are not going to bring our dream to, we are not going to bring our dream to full term and allow stumbling blocks to uh -huh. stop our progress. Well. It is time for us to allow to for us to follow through with all the directions and obey each one of them. We have to duck every I and cross every T. Some of us are now in the birthing phase of our dreams. This is your last trimester. And in a few weeks, your dream will be at full term, and you will have one last step to do. You have to name what you have just birthed. Joseph named baby Jesus, which fulfilled the Old Testament prophecy when Isaiah said the young woman, a young woman will bear a child and name him Emmanuel meaning God with us. Joseph completed all the tasks that were spoken to him in his dream. And I suggest to all of us tonight that we must do the same thing. We must complete all the tasks that we've been charged to do. Your dream could be the next key to the next greatest graduate ever invented. Your dream could be the next cure for the debilitating disease. Your dream could produce jobs for thousands of people and help them take care of their families. Your dream could organize a failing company. Your dream could open doors for young people to get the education and resources they need to be successful students. Your dream could help motivate an ethnic group of people to shift their mindset. Your dream could empower men and women to organize health campaigns that encourage healthy living. I know y'all said it, y'all heard this already. It's important, so I said it again. Your dream could organize community activities that build and encourage healthy neighborhoods. And then let me tell y'all again, I'm gonna say this to myself. Your dream could organize a church that builds relationships with people. Your dream could organize a church that meets people at the, at the point of their needs. Your dream could organize a ministry that encourages black men to build a better relationship with Christ, their families and their communities. Your dream could encourage black women to raise their children to be doctors and productive and contributing members of society. Your dream could organize a ministry that will realize if we don't help the community, we're hindering the community. Your dream could be the very thing that someone you don't even know yet needs to help them decide about living for Jesus or dying in sin. I just need to survey the room and ask, is there anybody in here that has a dream growing inside of you? Is there anybody in here that is in the growing process of your dream? Is there anybody in here that is in the last trimester of your dream and you're ready to give birth to your dream? If, the, if you are there, I have one more thing to say. If we intend to birth our purpose, we have to determine to follow, exact, follow the example of Joseph. Follow all the directions God has spoken to you and about your dream. I truly believe our obedience will birth purpose. Amen. 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 Listen to you all. <laughs>